coming uh, week and a half here to get ready for the uh, game. We'll start out in left field by the foul pole. Is, uh, as we come around, there'll be two ma major stage components out there, which are two hockey sticks, more like goalie sticks, and they'll, they'll flare out to the, uh, to the foul poles. In the middle of that will be a giant puck about 35 feet in diameter. Uh, we will also do a, an extensive decor program here we take care of all the field walls, this fence in front, and a lot of the faces that you see, a lot of the other uh, boards that you see in the building here. We've added about 1,500 seats in center field, as you can see. They're almost completed. By the end of this week, they will be completed and approved. And we'll be ready to go there. There's a lot of decor that goes on the front there. And as you come around to right field, there'll be two host positions, one for NBC and one for CBC. That's where you'll see Bob Costas do his intermission reports from. Uh, as you come around and uh, out where these guys are standing out here, just beyond that is where they're going to call the game. CBC and NBC will both have a position there. First time this, this, uh, this year we've moved the pond ice to this decking system right here between pitcher's mound and home plate. Uh, in the past when we've been in baseball parks, it's been in center field, so we moved that closer to the fans this year. In front of that, over by home plate, is another stage where the anthems will be sung. Um, so there's another thing going on outside on Citizens Bank Way, which is Spectator Plaza. That's really where we open that up to the fans, our sponsors, um, there'll be merchandise, a band, video board, food and beverage, really a place to go enjoy yourself prior to the game. So once that gets opened uh, for Alumni Day on the 31st, that'll stay open right through so we dropped the puck at about 128 on January 2nd. Um, as you can see, we probably have a good couple hundred people in the park today roaming the field and underneath the stadium getting prepared. It'll, it'll ramp up each day as we go. Uh, I think Dan explained already what's going on behind me. But this will start to take shape pretty quickly. Uh, and I hope to have ice, watch Dan make ice come Thursday. One good thing is... In the last hour, the weather has changed. This is more like winter classic weather instead of the 60-degree weather we've had in the past. And this, the uh, weather reports that I'm seeing are, you know, snow towards the end of the week, at least light snow, and almost right through January 2nd. So hopefully Mother Nature works in our favor. Uh, sun stays out of our way, a little clouds, a little snow, and looking for a great day on the 2nd.